Okay, guys. Going crazy with all this pain, so I'm trying to take my mind off of it. After this knee replacement, by opening up boxes that I've just had laying in another room from my divorce nine years ago. I hope this my slot cars made it, because a lot of stuff didn't. Can't get to what I want, so I want to see if what I wrote on this box is truly in here. Really trying to find my slot cars. I want to find my old. I had 40 from when I was a childhood. And then I started breaking them up and putting them into categories with all the other cars. I want to put them back so that if anybody in my little family keeps anything of mine. You know, because they want it for their kids or themselves. It was mine and my daughter's. Not uh, just shit I've been picking up. And this looks like on this box says slot car parts, new old stock. I should have wrote, but I wrote new old good shit. Writing is basically like my vocabulary, which is a problem. I know I had a lot of four gear parts. I wish I had the dragster extension because it just got ripped off on Blow Bay. But I don't think I have any extensions. What do I have? Not this motherfucking box. almost the best I've ever had it's worthless okay so these little magnets were in here these were from back when I had that layout up I was gluing magnets on some t-jets for my daughter so this shit is not that old maybe not all of it too much shit Keep buying shit. She just open up these boxes. I was gonna make her a slot car out of this little dude. Cause this is when I started making monster coaches and Dragula, and a bunch of hot rods out of you know. What's that dumb diecast bullshit? Big box of that. I'm gonna have to make another video because I did not truly expect this. Slot car parts, HO scale new. Jeez. The people on eBay, some people on eBay would pack this good, I would have got my pit kit full of parts, all intact. But no, they just, uh, gotta stop ranting. Bud's HO slot car. Well, it's probably still around. Selling this shit. Bob Beers. Did a little action with Bobby Beers. Now that's a bag of parts, bro. Some of them shit American line bodies and cars. Axles. Thank God I have this stuff because now I can give blow beta you know. Oops! And all those idiots out there. Still not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see. 
see if I have any dragster stuff. And if I'm looking, that means I don't have it. Sick of this, the track they sell us too. Victory 400, it's like a $500 set. Or the other AFX set, Race Masters. Four lane sets, but the track is just shit. They gotta space the cars a little more. I don't care, it takes up more room in your house. You don't have the fucking room, you set a smaller layout up. You know who's cool? Not to be vulgar all the time, was the old gauge track they sold. H.O., I used to have that as a kid. Somehow I blew out the uh, the old gauge cars. And I still had the at least the wide transitions for that nice arcing turn, man. When I was a young child, young kid, I'll just say fifth grade. Uh, I used to be able, to, I was allowed to set that up on the living room floor. My mom would give me like three days before she was like sledgehammering it to take it down because vacuuming and cleaning. And that wide swooping turn when you don't run magnet cars was beautiful, man. None of this tight bullshit. I guess everybody likes their cars to fall off because if you, you want kids involved, they cannot fall off. You could slowly teach them how to critique the shoes and the wheel heights and all this other horse shit. But when you sell these things, the cars basically have to stay on the track. And I don't mean super magnetism because... That's just falsehood. You need the cars to fishtail around and look good. The kids nowadays can't even drive. They don't have toys that act like a real car, and they don't drive a real car until they're of the right age, and no one teaches them. I took my daughter at the wrong ages to parking lots in the snow, and I said, here's this car. You stop. I want you to go straight here and turn, and when this car slides, I want to see your reaction. Before you know it, I had her counter steer and hitting the gas, hitting the emergency brake, sliding around the fucking turn and going straight. Now she's, there's people out there that can't even back up, literally, if they don't use a backup camera. They're like, they think the mirrors were secondary and the cameras were first. I guess I bought cases of these uh, Johnny Lightning cars. That was a waste. Anybody wants any of these bad boys, contact me. Ooh, but that Chevy looks good. You're into a plain 57. I think that's a 7, yep. Anyway, guys, this was a short clip. I have plenty more to go through. Maybe I'll post another one. Just a comparison. Oh, God, I can't see if it's on it. That's one knee. That's, this is the leg that's killing me, baby. Oh, well. Check it out. Have a good day. Oh, TV Tony Land. The dude's... What's this? Bird shit on my face.